Just like you know that we are living, we are dwelling in a grand and awful time. And as you look all around you, everything points to the fact that something big is about to happen. Some people are not sure what that is. The scientists are baffled. But we know as people who study the word of God that we are nearer to the second coming of Jesus. Amen? Amen. And that's why we are here. To remind you that God loves you. That he cares for you and that it is his desire to take you into his glorious kingdom where there will be no more death, no more sorrow and we live with peace and in happiness forevermore. So thank you for receiving us. This is our mission. Our mission is to remind you of Jesus' love. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yes, sir. So that whosoever, and they tell me that whosoever is a big word. Right. It has space for you and for me. Yes, and for everybody here and everybody in Jamaica. Whosoever you mean, whosoever come, he will save. So thank you again for receiving us. Thank you for coming out. And we, we want to pray with you. So wherever you are now in your homes, by the wayside, may I invite you to just pause just one moment where you are and let us pray. Heavenly Father, what a wonder you are. We never cease to wonder at the greatness of your love. How that God, omnipotent God, can love us as feeble mankind is still amazing. So we come this evening and we lift you up, we glorify you, we thank you for our spared lives. And as we come to listen to more of your words, we ask, oh God, that you'll help that we'll open our hearts so that you can pour your love within us. And finally, when all is said and done, we ask that we may have a home with you in paradise. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.